Hey, check it. Hey, check it. Put the place up. Good morning. On the agenda today is time drop, full body. That means first round, 40-20, second round, 30-15, third round, 20-10. I love that because you feel like you're accomplishing something in every circuit. We have three circuits. You're gonna need two sets of dumbbells, one for legs, one for arms. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jog in place. You know why you're working out behind the scenes today. Right, guys? Behind the scenes. Yes. You're jogging in place. I've missed you guys. It's been a long time. Got a lot of stuff we had to get done. I almost dropped the Miller method. All right, stay right here. Go ahead and pin pin forward and up. And forward, if Nixon, we're not talking right now. All of you have children. They will run through here in a second. They are closed, okay? I made sure of it. Perfect. Stand up to the top right here. Lunge forward, other leg. We're gonna start off pretty basic this week. I would say easy moves, but I mean they're weighted, so that's relative. Right? It's all relative. Keep those shoulders up, down and back. Stepping forward, the weight's going in the heel, the toe's coming up to the top of the shoe. Awesome. Come to the top. And then two lateral lunges right here. Go ahead and take a cross. We're doing that. It's gotta be efficient, right? You nobody got time. People just run off the workout. People can work out for two hours. What is that like? So, first set, we have goblet squats, around the world, bicep curls, and then we also have squat jumps. So, grab your weights, you have 15 seconds. Goblet squat, looks like this. Hold the dumbbell by the head, feet are wide, toes point out. Here we go, you ready? Sit the butt down and back, drive up through the heels. Go ahead and take those toes, put them in the tops of the shoes. Perfect. Today I realized I was going on vacation. I had to film like nine different workouts. So I was like, all right, let's do it. We can do it. We're moms. We can do anything, yeah? Maybe some of your dads. I don't know your business. Drive to those heels. Five seconds left. You're gonna get a 20 second break. And time. All right. Around the world bicep curl. Looks like this. Palm face out. You come all the way over your head, just like this. You get down to the bottom. You do your bicep curl. So much arms. Let's go. Three, two, one. Raise them up. Engage that core. Lower it slowly. Bicep curl at the bottom. Perfect. Uh, I recorded that intro like 86 times. And all 86 times they talked to me. So we're just gonna roll with this one. Who knows what it sounds like? This is it. You're really bad at this. I was like, yep. The videos are terrible. Jokes are worse. And one more bicep curl right here. Oh, we can go one more. Overhead. Stupid trainers always say, one more. All right, drop them. They're liars, right? So we're going to squat those next. If that's not something that you can do, you're going to give me one squat, one calf raise at the top. 
Otherwise, we're coming straight up. Little plyometric action right here. Ready? Let's go. 40 seconds. You can do it. nothing approach and it just can't be that way you'll never get anything done but these are my toxic traits oh i'll work out consistently when i get this floor done oh when the counter's installed i'll do this like it's total bs no it won't just keep making another excuse so shut up time don't do that right Let's go bicep curl first this time. One, overhead, down, curl. We're doing things in the the door in a minute. Ten seconds. Go ahead and engage that core. You're gonna need it as you raise those weights over the head. Yep. And time. Perfect. Squat jumps. Or squat to calf raise. Three seconds. Here we go. I love this format because it goes down. I think formats or people who teach formats where the time increases are really crazy. And me. You gonna do it? All right, let's do it. Get your little weight. It's super important to keep the kids involved so that they pick up healthy extra exercise habits too. Time. I also understand the theory where you need a break and they need to go away. Uh oh. All right, goblet squad. Last time. Here we go. 20 seconds. Doesn't that feel good? You know you can do it. Toes up. Heels down. Here's my recommendation. If you cannot, goblet squat or front squat. Time. Grab your bicep curl weights. A 45 pound weight in front of you. You don't need it's to be doing barbell back squats. Yeah, yeah. There you go. It's just me and a fan. Bicep curl. Overhead. That's going to offend and trigger a lot of people who want to do a lot of weight on their back. But if you can't goblet squat a 45 pound weight on your front, your form is going to be, well, it's going to suck when you put it on your back. Time. If I got it, we got it. Squat jumps. Taking off like a rocket. Yeah. Four form equals injury. You can't build. Let's go. Muscle on an injury. Make it rain. Make it pour. In my house on Nino. Ten seconds. Keep going. You got a minute break. It's just me. Actually, you have a minute ten break. It's just me and a fam. Yeah. Time. It's just me and a fan. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. 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 Ye
We have deadlifts, rows, jumping jacks, okay? So pretty heavy weight for deadlifts. Post to your chain can take a lot of weight. It's okay, you'll be fine. Then we have rows. We're doing these right here, okay? Just regular double-handed rows. No tricks today. No tricks, not me and the fam. Get a drink of water if you need to. It's just me and about 20 seconds until we start back with the deadlift. It's just me and a fam. Yeah, yeah. It's just me and a fam. It's warm today. It's always warm in here. All right. Go ahead and grab those weights. We're going deadlift next. Roll those shoulders up, back and down. Put the hips right over your heels. Now push the hips back. Get pinch forward. Put the daddy long legs on their sandals. Excellent. If not, a push the hips all the way forward, matrix style. We're just going to come to standing, right? We're trying to get those hips right underneath your ribs. We're gonna close those armpits. Pretend like you have paper in there and you don't wanna get out. Perfect. Nice. Let's go rows next. So, you're gonna stand like this and give me a little bend, like a stick figure bend. It looks crazy. Like this, you're gonna lean over. So you're gonna bring the head of the weight up to the top, bottom of the rib cage. That's what your row looks like. Yeah? All right, here we go. Now, we're not gonna flare out at the elbows. We're gonna go right behind us. Ah! Pull those abs in. Awesome. Sometimes you have to reposition, especially if you take it a little bit heavier weight than you're used to. Sometimes you need to shake it up. Come right back. Seconds left. One more. Perfect. Drop those. Now we have jumping jacks. Stop Eight seconds left. Two and one. We're going jumping jacks right here. Now, if you're modifying, this is you.
me. I said I could get up in the morning and do the things before they get up. But I have about 50,000 million things to do before that. So, fine. So there's that. I have children. You don't like it? Change Right? Jumping jacks. your collarbone if you would like also acceptable no weight also acceptable here you go two one step forward back forward and back a lego we'll get it well thank you i appreciate it we're going 90 degrees with those legs the leg is dropping. The knee is staying right up underneath your hip, okay? Yeah. And time. Perfect. We have shoulder presses coming at you. Proud those. Show you all the different ways people have hard time 
the shoulder presses, right? Shake it out, come back, keep going. Almost every class I teach has a shoulder injury. And this one move kills everyone. Time. All right, catchers. We're gonna start here, plank position. Hands come up. If you are not a jumper, your feet, you're walking it in and out. High five with me at the top, okay? From the plank position. You ready? Jump forward, hands up. Hands down, feet back. What we're gonna concentrate on, rather than doing it super fast, is getting the form correct. Because guess what? You're gonna be with me for the next eight weeks, and you're gonna see this again. Jump the plank, hands up. Perfect. Hands up. Flat feet when you jump up. Perfect, five seconds. And time. That worked out perfectly. All right, lunges, front rack. And everybody said, that hurts my hips. I know. I know it does. We're going to do a lot of hip mobility in this particular challenge. Front lunges, let's go. You can also go here. That's better for you. Know when we have shoulder presses next. First, we can do heavy weight while we're lunging. Touch down. You can't go all the way to the floor if you need. Don't worry about it. Go as far as you can. Drive through that front heel. Come back. And time. Perfect. Shoulder presses. Alternating both hands. Your choice. Staggered, regular position. So many choices. Here we go. Nice. This one will go by quick. First one's usually agony. The second one, you're like, yes, 10 less seconds. I can do it. 15 seconds left. Keep going. They let bugs in. Coming in and out of the door. We know how I feel about flying things while I'm working out. One more. Perfect. Catchers. Five seconds. Let's go ahead, plank position. Ready? Jumping in. High fives. Ready? Kaya say, come on, Kat. Legs back. You've already done 10 seconds. Keep going. You got it. The people who know me are already like, wow, there's barely any jumping in this. Time. All right, let's do it one more time. And then it's done. The whole thing's done. We're going to pull off. Front rack, or by your sides, roll your shoulders back. Let's go. 20 seconds. I love a time drop. Time. Oh man, that went by so quick. <laughs> Thought we were still going. Alright, here we go. Bring them up. 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Five. Time. Catchers. That's it. One more round of catchers. That's it. Plank position. High five. Let's go. Now, this is what speed looks like 
when you're doing catchers. Not necessary for this one, right? We're just working here. And time. Perfect. You guys rock. Whether you had to stop multiple times or not, still proud, still showed up, still count. All right, go ahead and grab one leg or the other. Maybe you need a walk stability, maybe you don't. A little quad stretch right here. Awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and let that foot out. Park the heel right on the floor in front of you. Lean forward. Don't bend the knee. You can bend this knee, not this knee. Perfect, stand all the way up. Grab that other leg. Yep, grab the other leg. Awesome, park that heel. This leg bends, this leg stays straight. Sink forward. Awesome, perfect. Hands up, palms face each other. Hips are going back, legs are staying straight. Chest is going parallel. Roll it all the way up. Oh man, my back just zippered. I love that. Awesome. Roll it all the way up. Excellent, we're gonna come back tomorrow. You did a great job today. Thank you so much for being here. Tomorrow we're doing some core, some mobility, some stability, all wrapped up into one little 20 minute package just for you. Can't wait. See you then.